The next picking tactic that we have is if a defensive team tries to lock off one of our players. That's going to create an even harder decision for the defensive players to make because if a pick is set well, it's easily going to free up the ball carrier because the player who's on the picking player isn't going to switch off of them and we know that. And so this is used a lot in the sub game where a player who is say a defensive midi or a pole goes to the top of the box to set a pick with a offensive midfielder on them and a player will run off that pick trying to get the offensive midfielder to kind of play the pick which will give the LSM time and space to run through the midfield line to either keep that offensive midfielder on the field or create a step advantage as they are subbing. As we let this clip run this defenseman is on the offensive end. In order to sub him off, he's going to set a pick. As he sets the pick, the player defending him has to respect the fact that if he sets a good enough pick, the ball carrier is going to gain an advantage. As the ball carrier comes off the pick, the player hesitates for a second, and the pole gains a step advantage subbing through the midfield. One of the ways that I found was really cool that, you know, as players are subbing and marrying to run off the field, that works really well is with our face-off middies. And TD Yearland did this great, and that's the clip I'm going to show you in a second. But so... If a face-off player wins a face-off, comes into the offensive end, and we are in our slow break scenario where you know we're probing, but we're not really going to the goal, we may have a pick or something, and that's what they're going to do here. So TD Ireland essentially threw the ball down to an attackman on the wing, and now he went inside out to actually set an up pick on the defenseman. And what ended up happening was the attackman kind of pushed topside and then came underneath and because the other face-off midfielder wasn't about to switch on to one of the best attackmen uh, who he was playing, there was no switch. The pick was set well. The defenseman got caught up here, and then the attackman was able to get underneath and score. We begin this clip with a face-off. TD wins it clean and begins moving to the offensive end. As he enters the offensive end, he passes to the attackman and immediately moves to set a swing pick. There's no possible switch. He clips the defenseman relatively well and allows the attackman to get in underneath and score.